mighty Morphin Learning. <laughs> Hi kids, my name is Mighty Morph and I can change into anything I want. Today, I'm back at my rocket getting ready to take a trip to space, this time far beyond our solar system. Do you want to come along? You'll learn all about galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters. Don't worry, it's safe. I just had my rocket in for its 1 billion mile service. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. Can you hear me now? Do you like my spacesuit? It allows me to safely leave my rocket so I can show you some really cool objects that we find in space. Since they're so big, I'll need my Mighty Morphin astronomical foreman machine to change into them. The first object is a galaxy. Are you ready to see it? Okay, here goes. A galaxy is a very large group of stars, planets, dust, and gas bound together by gravity. They are elliptical, spiral, or irregular in shape. The Earth is part of a spiral galaxy called the Milky Way, which looks very similar to this one. The word galaxy is actually derived from a Greek word that means milky. The next object we'll see is called a nebula. A nebula is a gigantic cloud of gas and dust. Are you ready to see one? This is the famous Horsehead Nebula in the constellation Orion. It gets its name because it bears some resemblance to a horse's head when viewed from Earth. Do you see a horse's head? Many astronomers believe that nebulae are the birthplaces for new stars. The last object we'll learn about is a star cluster. So here goes. There are actually two types of star clusters. Globular clusters, like this one, are tight groups of hundreds or thousands of very old stars, while open clusters generally contain less than a few hundred stars and are often very young. Hmm, did you see that star destroyer fly by? I better leave before it comes back. I hope you had fun learning about deep space objects and thanks for all your help. Don't forget to subscribe for more Mighty Morphin Learning!